Hello and welcome to another incredibly boring video with Jay. I'm going to show you a couple hot keys and some things that will actually speed you up along the process today. I don't know why I got rid of that, but I did. So we'll go ahead and have this up. There's some um, uh, aligning stuff and just some hot keys that I know. So there is copy, which is control C. These are some of your basic ones. So I just copy this to my clipboard. And if I, here, control C, and I copy this to my clipboard. And if I click control V as in Victor, it's a paste. So that's copy and paste. It's a normal, a, a normal thing that uh, you could have for copy and paste. Uh, so you could actually click this and click control D. And that just automatically copies and pastes right now. You can do as many times as you want. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So that's control C, control V, control D. There are some alignment issues, things that we can do here. And say we want to select and align these guys up. So we'll uh, highlight all of these guys. And you can press the E, the just the letter E button, and it will align them this way. And we can do this way. And we'll select these guys here and just press the letter C and we'll get uh, alignment that way. All right, so let's go do this, control E. Another hot key that I have is here, I wanna get something different than three of the same photos here. Let's just draw up a couple of these real quick. So we've got a black square. I'm gonna duplicate this one, but I'm gonna turn it red. Then we'll duplicate with control D and I'm gonna turn it, oh, let's make it some blue color. All right. Okay, so we have blue, which you can see is in front of the black. You can tell it's in front of the black because it's in front of the black. And then red, which is behind the blue. Well, I don't like that. I want the red to come in front of the blue. So you can click Control Home. And what that does is sends red all the way to the front. So you can see black is all the way in the back and reds all the way in the front. So we'll click the red and you can click control end, E-N-D, and it sends it all the way to the back. It's all the way behind the black, the blue, and everything. And then control home, sorry, click the red. Control home brings it to the front of the page. Control end brings it to the back of the page. And then you could also use control page up, which brings it up just one. And then page up, bring it in front one more. So we can use control page down. We'll take it back one. And then control page down, we'll take it back one. So page up, page down. That's control page up, control page down. That's a, These are tools that I use on a daily basis. So I'm just showing you uh, frequent hotkeys that I use. Um, so we'll take the black and then you can press and, the sh and hold the shift button and then select the blue. And you can see I now have the black and the blue selected. And we'll press and hold shift again and we'll select the um, red. So now I have all three of them selected. Now these are just selected, they're not grouped. So we can unselect them and then I can still select them individually. But we don't want that right now. Let's go ahead and align them with my E button. And um, what I want to do is we'll take these, align them with my E button, and I want these to always be connected. So we need to group them. So I'll click Control G, as in George, Control G, and now when we unselect them, when we reselect them, they're together and they move as pieces. This comes in handy if you were going to. Here, I'll duplicate some. So control D, control D. Now we're dealing with three pieces instead of nine. So if we wanted to align these, we line them up, you know, however, with C and E. C, yeah, if you see. So they're all together. So now these are grouped. But for some reason, we don't want this anymore. So we'll click control U and what that did was control U as in unicorn 
ungrouped everything back, just whatever you have selected. All right. There is, uh, we'll move, um, say we want to move this here. Oops, that was an accident. We can click Control Z as in zebra, and that is your undo button. So we can actually go one, two, three moves, and I'll click Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. That's undo, 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 or you can select the undo button up here. Whichever one of those are easy. I did want to add real quick the power of the mouse. If you're not using a mouse, you are really uh, missing out. <laughs> if you're using a touchpad or something like that, uh, with with the mouse, the wheel on the mouse, the thing that zooms in and out, allows you to zoom in and out. So if I push it forward, I'm zooming in. If I pull, wheel it back, I'm wheeling out. Another awesome part of the mouse is. I can just grab the page if I push down on the wheel of the mouse and I get my hand and I can just move the page around. So you may see me do my videos where I'm moving and I'm moving things around really, really quick like this. It's because I'm using a mouse. So you could right click and you could do really, really cool things with your mouse. These are just some of the hotkeys that I use and I just wanted to touch base on those real quick. So that uh, might help you and I hope this helps you in the future. All right, thanks. Have a great day.